There are parts of this board that require a higher voltage than the simple 5 volts that can be brought by the computer and the USB. One of which is the thing that I'm going to get into next. Spindle speed control, which is a PWM output from 0 to 10 volts located on this part of the board. So I'm going to connect an external 24 volt supply to the external terminals for input voltage. To do that I'll need to move this jumper. Right now the jumper is located in the USB position and I'm going to change it so it's going to be positioned for external power. You want to make sure that you have the computer not plugged in to the board while you're doing this. Okay so I'm going to take a small 24 volt power supply. It doesn't have to be a lot of current. This one I believe it's one amp. Yeah it's 24 volts one amp and it receives 110 or 220 volts. I'm going to take the output positive and negative and bring it to the, the interface. In these terminals the red is a positive and the yellow is a negative. On the interface the positive is is this terminal and the negative is this terminal. So I'm going to take the positive 24 volts and put it into the positive input terminal. I'm going to take my negative or ground put it to the negative input terminal. I'm going to remove the USB just so I can show you when I plug the USB in after it's plugged into the computer. It will not power the board. It will only be used for communication at that point. So it is plugged into the computer. I've plugged it into the interface and nothing happens. So if I plug the 24 volt power in, it should be powered. After plugging it in, you can see that the interface is now powered. And now the parts of the board that will require higher than 5 volts will now be able to function correctly. To connect the 0 to 10 volt variable voltage output to the spindle, I'm going to use a black wire and a white wire in the same cable that I used before. Now that we have the external power connected, we can use the 0 to, 0 to 10 volt. I'll use the black wire on ground. The first pin right here, or the first terminal, is ground. And then skipping one, this is actually spindle ear. The third one is spindle, is the 0 to 10 volt output. It's a PWM output, pulse width modulation. And that's the way it's able to deliver 0 to 10 volts. In the terminals for the VFD, there are three connections that are responsible for the speed signal coming in. There's a ground, and there's a 10 volt, and then there's a VI1, which is the variable speed input, the variable input. If you think about this as a potentiometer, you can think of this as the two outside leads, and then this one is the wiper of the potentiometer. So I'm gonna use the black for the ground. Since the 10 volt is already a 10 volt, and it's outputting 10 volts, and nothing needs to be connected to that. So I'm going to the ground with the black wire that is connected to ground on the Pokies 57 CNC, and the white wire, which is the 0 to 10 volt variable output, is going to be on VI1. Okay, so we need to set the programming for the VFD so we can change the output, or we can change the frequency change because right now we can do this on the on the panel. Make it so we, we can't use the panel but we're using the terminals instead. So the way you do that is you go to the program. We're going to go to um, P0708. And currently it's set at zero, which gives the panel's potentiometer here the control for the frequency. So we need to change this to 3 for this particular VFD. On other VFDs, just look for how to control the frequency or a frequency source control and then um, change that to external terminals. So we're going to set that and we're going to press the program key again so we get back to the, the frequency. And you'll notice that when I turn the potentiometer on the front panel, nothing happens on the digital readout. Now I can control this from the computer, from the terminals. Let's configure Mach 3 and the Pokies plugin to be able to control the spindle speed. Open your Mach 3 profile. Make sure you have the computer plugged into the Pokies 57 CNC interface. 
select the Pokies plugin. Before we go into the Pokies plugin configuration, we need to configure a few things in Mach 3 first. The first thing I'll set up is the spindle pulleys. I'm using this configuration to show the correct RPM on the user interface when controlling the spindle. Since my spindle has a max speed of 24,000 RPM, I'm going to change this value to 24,000. Now I need to tell Mach 3 to use the PWM control. Under config, ports and pins, and spindle setup, you want to use spindle motor output. Press OK with this dialog message. And you want to make sure that the PWM control is checked. Accept these changes by pressing OK. And now I'm going to make some changes with the Pokies plugin. Under the plugin control, configure Pokies 57 CNC. The spindle speed 0 to 10 PWM output is under the PWM tab. Pin number 17 is the pin that we're concerned with. After a little bit of experimentation, I determined that the multiplier needs to be changed so the spindle speed on the user interface can reflect the actual spindle speed. The value that I determined is 0 0.00415. I'm not sure if this is the correct value, but it worked for me. Also, the PWM module period should have a frequency of 20 kilohertz, and I believe I was using 10 kilohertz. Now I'm going to test the spindle speed and see if the, the RPM is reflected in the frequency on the VFD. The VFD shows frequency and the spindle speed is an RPM. You can see that when I change the speed, the, the frequency changes on the VFD, which is correct. However, you can see that there's a lot of interference on the line. It's getting to the right frequency or near the right frequency, but there's a lot of fluctuation on that line. Use shielded cable for all of your digital lines and make sure you ground the shielding. And there is a good amount of distance between the digital wires and the spindle motor cables. So that is how to connect the spindle speed control to the Pokies 57 CNC interface. If you have determined parameter values that show better performance for the spindle speed, please let me know in the comments. And if you're enjoying these videos and want to see more, please consider subscribing. Thank you for watching.